I just get all right. We are live. Hey everyone. Um we're gonna do a quick walkthrough about uh how the zeal campaign will work. We'll start from the beginning and then we'll go into the intricacies of the uh campaign. It's going to be a, a long one. It's not going to be that easy to get your hands on the 10K USD or the 200,000 uh, high power delegations, as well as a lot of uh, surprises for those who grind enough to become eligible to more, sort of more, more prizes. So I'm sharing the screen right now. Carl, are you able to see it? Yep. Yep. Awesome. I can see it. So we decided to start with, like, if you can see here, there are a lot of uh, different um, categories. So people can, act can actually just click on any of them and they can see exactly what the quests are depending on the, on the category. So um, you can either choose all of them and then just just uh, scroll down, or you or if you are focused in one of them, or you just want to see the quest uh, from one of the paths, then you can also do that. So we start with get started. This is pretty easy. Uh, people just have to click on this first quest, and then they they will get access to all of the quests. Uh, on get started and then on the 10,000 USD become eligible. This is pretty important because we want people to be uh, familiar with Sealy and to and, and to know what's up with the campaign before actually starting the campaign. So in order to become eligible, people have to do some uh, pretty simple tasks that are related to our, our social media accounts, Twitter, Discord, Substack, YouTube, and then follow some people from the Leo Finance team. And this is actually the first. So for example, in here, ready for the 10K sprint, um, you actually have to complete all of this quest. And we have 76 people who already claimed all of this. So uh, this is good. We are, we are expecting a lot of people to become active today, which is when the campaign started. And then, we explain there's two types of quests, the main quest and don't expire and the side quest, which will, will expire. This means that people have to come on every single day to complete the daily quests and they have to come into Zilli every week, at least one, one day per week to claim these quests. And this means that people can actually, uh, if, if they find 10, 10, 10 minutes during their, their day, they can uh, finish this. And then the quests that do not expire, actually uh, people can just finish them at any time during May and the first days of June. We're still deciding uh, how long will the campaign last. We are deciding between 30 days and 40 days. We will decide pretty soon. But anyway, people can either finish them on day one or on day 30. and um, it'll be the same for anyone. So this means that anyone who joins the campaign, no matter if they do it on the 5th of May or the 5th of June, for example, they all have a shot at winning the campaign. And then this is the last quest before the actual campaign starts. We already have 67 people who are already ready to grind and um, yeah, so today at uh, the 18 hours UTC, so that's around uh, in half an hour, I think, um, the new quests will uh, start appearing. And this doesn't mean that all of the quests will be there. This just means that people can actually start finishing quests um, in 30 minutes. So now we have the first category, which is the keep stacking XP. And these are um, quests that will not be there uh, on, until they are, um, what's the word? 
uh, relevant. So for example, we have a quest for the UI, UUI launch part. So that quest will be there for the uh, for tomorrow. And then we have LPAT Lion. So this quest will appear on the 15th. And then we have a lot of quests uh, related to that. For example, we have a big announcement planned for next Friday. So there will be a quest for, uh, well, related to that big announcement. And I'm not gonna scroll down to not uh, spoil all the surprises, but the category keep stacking XP is pretty much for anything uh, current. So you, you, you do want to keep an eye on that one. Uh, they will be, uh, they will depend on time. For example, uh, LPOT Lion will not be available for everyone during the whole month. It will only be available during the 15th, which is when the Leo power uptake happens. So there, there will be a few, a few quests that are time relevant, but they, they will be there for you to see them. So don't, don't worry about missing them. And then we have the daily quests, which is actually pretty uh, short because it's, it will, Zilli has this um, this process where they 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 encourage their members to join every day and to log in every day to just claim something. So mo most of the other communities just have a quest that says uh, they only claim and they just go there and just claim something. Maybe they they claim fifty experience points, maybe a hundred. I don't know, but. We want to do this uh, daily quest so that actually people engage with the leofinance.io platform. So there's only two of them, but if anyone has another uh, suggestion of what we can do with these da daily quests, which actually give very little XP, they just give 50 experience points uh, per day. So uh, the first one is just say GM friends, which is, uh, we have right now 464 claims from the past um, campaign. So we are, we are expecting a lot more for this one, but it's just pretty easy to say GM to your friends and that's it. It just means using threads for something every single day. And then we have uh, calendar threading, which is a little initiative that we've had uh, for a while now. It hasn't really caught up, uh, caught on, but we expect it to be. So there's a daily topic. So people can just go onto threads and thread something related to the, to that topic and that's it. They can claim this, this quest. Uh, so as you can see, it's basically uh, people just logging into Zilli to claim experience points for their daily interactions on threads. And then we have weekly side quests. These are the same as the daily quests in terms of that people have to claim them before Sunday at, I think it's at midnight UTC. So uh, every um, Monday starting at, at zero, 00, well, midnight UTC, uh, they can start claiming this. And it's pretty simple. Um, they have to do two thread storms. Thread storms are uh, a series of, of threads um, linked to each other the writer they, they have to write one post per week on leo finance and there are a lot of uh topic suggestions there the gusher and the posher so people actually share their posts of leo finance on twitter and this doesn't have to be done every single day because we don't want to ask you to spam your uh, twitter feed but we are we actually want you to share your posts on twitter um at least one once a week and then we have three shows that people can join, tune in, ask questions, and then uh, they will get some, some experience points for attending those shows. Uh, we included the, uh, well, obviously the AMA, which gives 200 experience points. And then we have the Cryptoholics show and the Community Talk, talk and Talk, Token Talk by uh, the Three Speak team. And these give 100 experience points each. Uh, and it's pretty easy for these three quests. You just have to pay attention to the to the show, so you hear the keyword. One of the one of the hosts will say during the show. So you just basically have to tune in, pay attention, 
and you can claim this this quest. And then we start with the with the real deal. We will have a small explanation here about what is CYOA. Uh, this means choose your own adventure, and a lot of people from the internet will uh, will identify these these uh, four four letters because. It means that people can actually finish all of these quests or they can pick whatever they want to engage with, depending on what their own um, uh, abilities are. So people can choose from the hustler, the supporter, the finance pro, the influencer, the visionary, the artist, the vlogger, and the promoter. Anyone can finish all of this. It will be hard. But in the end, it's ten thousand dollars, and we still haven't de uh, decided how we're going to spread this price. But we are very sure that uh, the top three will get a very uh, substantial amount of the ten thousand. So that's why we're asking people to finish a lot of things to actually win this. So for the hustler, this is pretty simple, and it's the one that gives the most XP in total. So people have to thread, 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 engage on threads, reply on threads, uh, share images, whatever they want, but they have to thread. And they just start uh, with, so each of the choose your own adventures uh, categories will, will have uh, this. So this is info for hustlers. In here, we explain everything about the quests. And then the quests are very simple. Um, you can see here, it's just three lines. The mission is to create 50 threads during May. And... Hey man, hey decoding. Yeah, uh, sorry decoding, I, I just muted you because uh, you, well, you can speak on the Leo TV chat and um, yeah, he just disconnected, okay. Uh, so yeah, I actually start... muted. I couldn't hear him. <laughs> oh, okay. You you unmuted him. No, I didn't unmute him. I have a uh, server death and on, so I, I just didn't hear him. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> so yeah, you start by being a threads rookie, and then the more threads you you send, the more experience points you get for each quest. And then you start as a rookie, then you become a hero, then you become a champion. Once you create 500 threads during May, you become a master, then a wizard. And then this is pretty, pretty cool because once you finish all of the quests relevant to this, then you have the final boss. And each of the choose your own adventure paths will have a final boss. And if you defeat this boss, you will get something amazing. We are actually going to... Uh, discuss this pretty soon, but it's probably going to be an NFT of a uh, boss slayer. But yeah, so if you finish three, well, if you send 3000 threads during May, then you will defeat the final boss. And apart from the NFT, we're still thinking of uh, pretty cool ways to reward those who defeat each of the final bosses, because I mean, sending 3000 threads in a month, it's not that easy, right? Uh, then, okay, that's the hustler. And each of the of, of the adventures um, has a name related to the quest, obviously. Uh, the supporter is a secret, but it will be pretty cool. And then you have finance bro. This is for the people who uh, write on Leo Finance long form content or that want to start writing long form content. Uh, this is pretty much a tutorial on how to how to start uh, creating good quality content on Leo Finance uh, for the long form uh, part of the platform. So pretty much you start with the info for bros, which is uh, how to uh, create long form content, and then you start pretty pretty simple. You just start following some people, then you customize your profile then you link your Twitter profile to your uh, Leo Finance profile. You introduce yourself and then you start with the good stuff. You can write posts about finance, about business. And the cool part about this, this quest is that not, not only we're asking you to 
uh, create a post about X topic, but we're actually telling you, like giving you a lot of uh, content ideas. For example, for Binance, you can write about anything related to banking, lending, bonds, interest, budgeting, debt, net worth, et cetera, et cetera. So people who have no experience with writing on Leo Binance in long form content, uh, long, long form style, they can just go here, claim, uh, check this quest, and they just say, oh, okay, so finance is about budgeting. Okay, so I'll do some re some research about budgeting. And then they can just start writing their, their, their posts. Um, so once people finish this, and this is the longest adventure. It's it's the longest because it's actually, we we are aiming to, to uh, provide the tools to our users to actually become financially savvy. So they finish finance, business, economics, crypto, fintech, politics writers, and then they become journalists. So they, they can write an, 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 an article about Hive, about Bitcoin, about the Leoverse, about Ethereum. And we explain all of this uh, pretty, pretty simple. So for the Ethereum journalists, for example, we ask them write a long form post on Leo Finance of at least 1,500 words. The topic can be anything related to the to the Ethereum blockchain or the ETH token, the community, the tokenomics, mining, node validation, proposals, anything related to Ethereum. But you can also write, uh, choose to write any project, uh, well, write about any project built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. And this starts giving 700 experience points. So that's, that's a lot. Then after the users, the... Uh, the 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 lions. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Eric. I think you're uh, muted on Discord. Oh shit! Hey, can anybody hear go. me? I think you're Dude. good now. Okay, <laughs> continuing now. Sorry about that. Uh, and once the people finish um, journalist path, they they all they already wrote about Ethereum, Bitcoin the Leoverse Hive, an EVM chain and a blockchain who is not an EVM who, and it's not Ethereum Hive or Bitcoin, they become an alpha hunter and they can write about uh, alpha on Leo. And then the final boss, uh, which gives 2000 XP. And this is one of the uh, quests who are the, lo the longest, but it also gives a lot of experience points. I think in total gives like 10,000 or something like that because most of the quests give 500, 700, but they are a lot. And then the, the final boss, you have to write a post on Leo Finance of about, uh, of about 3,000 words and the topics are inside. But yeah, uh, like it's one of the long, it's the, the longest one. And then for the influencer, I'm not going to show you that because that's, secret as well. But then we have the visionary. The visionary, it's just about, it's for people who actually see the value uh, of Leo Finance and the Leo token. So the visionary quest, it's all about powering up. You have info for, vi for visionaries, which is uh, pretty much explaining people how to power up, what is powering up, what are the use cases of Leo, etc. So you have different attacks and each attack means that you have to power up X amount of Leo and then you will get Y amount of experience points. And you have kitten attack, newborn call attack, the cob attack, the lion attack, apex lion. And then the, the in the final boss, you become a king of the jungle. And it's just, and it's not a lot because we're not asking people to invest a lot of money to earn money with the final price, but it's just a, a significant amount. So, so people who are not writers or who are not uh, threaders or artists or whatever, they also have something to grind XP because in the end, uh, people who get more than 10,000 experience points at the end of the campaign will also get something. So you don't have, so you can choose to win this to uh, to just compete for to 
to win the whole thing, or you can choose to uh, just grind experience points to get to certain level where you will get the uh, Discord roles or NFTs or uh, tokens, or you can choose to finish one of the adventures. Uh, the artists, these people will actually uh, create the NFTs that we will have for the campaign and for Leo Finance in general. So we have the Slated Dragon Quest, we, we have the Lion Sealer, which is the NFT that we will give to the top 100 uh, people in the campaign. We have an NFT for Elpod, we have an NFT for the uh, upcoming referral system on Leo Finance. So anyone who reaches X level of invites on Leo Finance will get an NFT, et cetera. And then you have the final boss, which is the boss slayer. Remember I said that anyone who uh, kills a boss in one of the adventures, uh, they will get an NFT. This will be designed by the artists who engage on this campaign. Then you have the vlogger, and then you have the promoter. The promoter, I still haven't designed it uh, yet. I still have to uh, come up with, with the best idea to make this, uh, this adventure the best one. And the vlogger is just going to be the same as, as the one with the content creator, but uh, in video form. So I'm just gonna show you how big the campaign is. And I have to choose all the categories here so I can see them all. And then I'm going to zoom out. Yeah, so this is basically how the, how, how the, the whole campaign looks. It's like, I don't know, maybe like 60 quests or something like that, plus all the quests that 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 we get as time comes, like like as time advances, and for example, if we have a big announcement on Friday, then we ask people to retweet the the announcement or engage on the Leo Finance post or make a post about it or make a video about it. A lot of the silly quests uh, in the in the keep stacking XP category will will depend on what happens on the Leoverse. Uh, during May and the beginning of June. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice. Yeah, it's crazy how big you built all these quests and everything. I know it took you uh, a lot of time. So um, yeah, it's it's crazy what you've come up with. Um, I think one of my favorite parts of it is the the side quests and everything. It feels a lot like a video game and you can obviously, you know, there, there's all the main quests that you can focus on and do and all the generalized stuff, but then giving people the, uh, the ability to dive deeper on what they're good at, I think is huge. Um, when you originally talked about that, I was expecting like maybe three or four categories, but it's awesome. Cause you got what <laughs> for a, that may, maybe there are too many, but no, I, I think it's great. Yeah. I mean, there are eight and they are like very specific, right? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. And and I think that's like a really important thing on Hive is that um, Hive is like this huge melting pot of different people with different skill sets. And uh, you've done a really good job of creating paths that cater to all those different skill sets. Because, um, you know, some people are just like photographers on Hive and they just like to post pictures and, you know, they are active in, in certain places, but they, you know, they don't want to create 1500 word articles, you know. But then there's other people out there like Taskmaster who do want to create 1500 word articles. So definitely, uh, definitely one of my favorite parts of the campaign is that you created all these different ways for people to um, get involved and be able to leverage their skill set to, to win the prizes. Yeah, and I think that, okay, so for example, if someone is a thread uh, champion and they just enjoy threading a lot, uh, odds are they won't be an artist or odds are they are not that good at making long long form content or they don't have the uh, the drive to be an influencer and to actually trend on Twitter. So um, that's that's what that's one of the best things that I think people will be able if if someone is 
uh, king of the jungle and they just grind everything, they will get around 100,000 experience points. But I highly doubt that anyone will get above 60,000, I think. So it's going to be easy to just focus on two or three of the of the adventures and then just grind the daily and the side quests, and the daily and the weekly side quests, and they keep stacking XP quests, and then just be able to win or at least end up at the top 10. Yeah, I like it. So I got a question um, about the the final bosses for each of the side quests. So I know we kind of talked about this, but I'm not sure if we ever came up with the concrete plan of uh, so. So basically, when you win the the final boss, right, you're going to get an NFT um, and that NFT is like like the NFT that you get will be displayed on your leo wallet which is like something we've talked about a lot in terms of the long-term plan with with those nfts do you want to dive in a little bit on on what that might look like and you know we've kind of teased pe people with the the new like hover over uh, a username feature where you can see their their ranking in the community based on how much uh leo power they have staked um and uh yeah, so so do you want to dive in on how that might look with people getting NFTs for the final bosses and then, you know, hovering over their username and seeing like their NFT wallet on the UI? Yeah, so um, per, first of all, uh, if no one knows what what that is, uh, in the new UI, when when people hover over your username, they will get some some information on your profile, like how much uh, Leo power you have. Or maybe we, we can even do like, where do they rank in terms of engagement as well? Because you have lead, you, you have uh, you have a leaderboard in the works, so that that could also that could also work to put uh, okay. So this user was top ten in engagement last month. That that would be cool. But yeah, so all these NFTs that people can earn, and I was actually think, thinking about this yesterday. How, how do you like that, for example, in some video games, you can equip something. So for example, if you have a, let's just say a wood shield, then you are more resistant to certain type of attacks. Or if you have a, a sword, which is, I don't know, a magical sword, you are better against X uh, type of enemies. So what if people could actually equip the NFTs and get some perks. So for example, if you have the Dragon Slayer NFT and you equip it, you can only equip three NFTs, right? So if people equip the Dragon Slayer NFT, they get, I don't know, more, more, more visibility uh, on their threads. Or if they equip the final boss Slayer uh, NFT, they get I don't know, let's say an extra vote every day or something like that. I I think it can really work if we have, let's say like 10 or 15 types of NFTs in the end, like let's just say by December 23, uh, 23. Uh, and people can, can just choose to grind to get those NFTs. And then when they equip them, they they, they get a perk. But if they don't like that perk, they can actually just maybe sell it or uh, unequip it and then use another one. And then they can just like play around with them. For example, if that month they are going to create a lot of long form posts, they use the NFTs that uh, boost the long form content creation side of Leo. So uh, I, I think that's that's how I how I envision it. For the future that people can actually grind to get nfts through silly or through engagement or whatever and then they can use those nfts to be displayed on their profile when people hover over them but in the future we can actually um assign perks to x to to each of these nfts yeah i think that's uh I think that's definitely a great idea. That's I think that's really where everything's headed in terms of NFTs and the long-term vision of the Leo UI. So 
you know, one thing I know I've talked about a lot in the AMAs is um, gamifying the experience on the the new UI and making things, you know, like like my vision of, of Web3 is where everything kind of converges on, you know, like a gamified experience, a tokenized experience, microblogging, long form content, um, you know, that that everything app vision. Um, and definitely like those those gamification features, I think will take a take a bigger role going forward. And and if you've looked at like any of the really successful NFT projects out there, one of the reasons why I think we're kind of taking our time and, and going slow in terms of building out NFTs is that, you know, I, I don't want to just have us launch some sort of NFT where it's like here, we're you know, we're launching edition one and we're raising a bunch of money. And then, you know, six months later, we launch edition two and we raise more money. I think the cool thing about successful NFT projects and uh, the ones that I've seen is that they launch NFTs and then they're just constantly adding use cases for those NFTs uh, rather than just adding more and more and more NFTs. So yeah, there's always going to be more NFTs. And and we've talked about, um, I think you actually came up with this, uh, which is, uh, what what was the term? Um, engage to mint uh, uh, on yeah. the NFTs. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I love that. I think that's like the core of what we, we want to do with NFTs, which is like, exactly stuff like what's going on in this uh, Zealy campaign where, you know, yeah, we could go out and sell NFTs like everybody else does, or we could launch NFTs based on, you know, people killing the final boss in a Zealy campaign or, you know, staking a hundred thousand Leo power. Um, and I, and I just think there's a lot or, or making like 5,000 threads. Like there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff that we can do uh, in terms of NFTs. And then, like you said, with the perks, I think that's a really awesome way to like bake those NFTs directly into the UI and uh yeah i think the long term vision of the leo ui if you if you take a take a bigger step back and look at the whole picture is uh an experience where you know yeah you're engaging on the ui you're using it it's like twitter and then you can use it for long form uh but then there's also all those all those gamification features so it's almost like a video game mixed with social media mixed with tokenization and crypto um so yeah i i i love that that vision of where things are going. So if you're in the Zealy campaign, I think it's going to be well worthwhile to uh, kill the final bosses. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think you you said it a few weeks ago in one of the AMAs, like once, once we give enough use cases to actually hold an NFT, people can decide if they want to use it or if they just want to sell it. And it actually gives the marketplace uh, a real purpose because for example someone decides okay i i want to kill all the final bosses not because i want more perks but because i i just need the money so i will just grind all these nfts and people will actually want to buy them because if, if they buy them they will get a real use case within the leoverse not 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 just a shiny uh jpeg right 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 Yeah, exactly. Um, so I saw another question. You answered it in Discord, but um, what if one powers up five thousand Leo? Will the earlier quests be completed? So there was those uh, quests to like um, power up and defeat like Cub and uh, Pack and stuff like that. So if you power, basically, he's asking if you power up five thousand, does it complete all the smaller quests uh, that come before it? Yeah, so most of the, well, all of the adventures will, will have one, one first quest where it's just information for the adventurers who want to start that, that path. And then, for example, uh, the, the threads one uh, will actually stack on top, of, on top of each other. So, for example, if the first quest asks you to finish 50 or to send 50 threads and the second one asks you to uh to send a hundred they will stack but in the in the visionary quest the visionary adventure um it's actually here it says info for visionaries and one of the uh, bullet points here is uh the visionary quests don't stack. The amount on each quest is separate than the other quests from the visionary adventure. And each quest means a separate power-up transaction. 
So for each quest, you have to do one transaction. The first one just asks you to power up 10 Leo, the second one 50, the third one 200. In total, it, it's not a lot. It's just um, under 8,000 Leo. So at this current market uh, price, it's pretty achievable. It's uh, compared to the prices, it's not a lot. So yeah, I think that answers the question, right? Cool, yeah. Um, what else we got here? Uh, question from Charles. I was wondering if new invites would be allowed to join the campaign at whatever stage they met it. Yeah, so that's one of the main uh, things that we thought about when the, when the, when the designing this 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 campaign. It doesn't matter if people join on the 1st or on the 15th or on the 25th. They will just miss out on the daily quests and the, week on, and, and the weekly quests. But the amount of XP that those quests uh, give, it's not a lot compared with what the, what the adventure quests give. So, for example, if someone joins on the 10th, they would have missed around, uh, I don't know, like... 1,800, maybe 2,000 experience points. But if they finish the Threads, uh, the Threads Adventure, the uh, the Hustler Adventure, which has to do with Threads, the whole uh, Hustler Adventure gives out around 20,000 experience points. So they can still get to the top 10. Perhaps they, they will not win, but as I said, uh, all the quests in total will give like 100,000 experience points. So even if they join on the 20, for example, and they like 20 days of, 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 of the campaign already went through, uh, they can still grind all the adventures. And if they finish all the adventures or 80% uh, of, of the adventures, odds are they will win this. So anyone who joins at any point of the month and win as long as they grind the adventures. The main thing is the adventures. The daily side quests and the weekly side quests are a good way to um, get an edge against other people in case you are not uh, you are not going to finish all the adventures. So, so for example, yeah. So for, ex so for example, ahead. if uh, five people decide to do, oh, well, let's say 20 people, they decide to grind hard the hostler one and they they will get like 20,000 experience points each. But if one of them decides to attend all of the shows during those weeks, they will get an extra uh, 3,000 XP. So that will differentiate them from the other ones who just grind the, the hostler adventure. So I, you kind of already answered this, but uh, I saw someone ask, so can you do multiple adventures like the side paths? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I'll actually include this in the uh, main information quest. Uh, people can actually do all, all of the adventures. Uh, if you have the time, because it will require time, if you have the time and you already spend a lot of time on Hive doing long-form posts and threading, this won't be hard for you. Um, but yeah, people can actually finish all of the quests and engage in all of the adventures. And it's actually what, what we are expecting. We are, we are expecting a handful of people who who decide to finish all the adventures and kill all the final bosses. And uh, yeah, that's where, where the winners will, will come from. If people decide to just grind one or two adventures, they will still kill, uh, and they kill the final bosses, they will get special rewards for those quests, well, for those adventures, but uh, most likely they will not win the whole thing, the, the whole campaign. So you're saying if they don't grind on all the adventures, they will have struggle to win the whole yeah. campaign, right? 
Yeah, exactly. But they will still get a lot of rewards from those quests. And also because most of the quests, most of the adventures have on-chain activity and uh, people who engage in those adventures and even, a, even if they don't uh, finish the full adventure and they don't uh, kill the final boss, they will still get a lot of rewards and tokens and a lot of things because Leo Voter will actively um, receive all of these quests which come in the form of posts, and we will curate those who are worthy. Those who are worthy. I like it. Um, so this, this is kind of a multi-part question, but I'll, I'll try to summarize it into uh, like one question. Um, what is the fate of newbies to these quests? And is there any chance at all for, so basically, and, and you you touched on this a little bit, but basically if someone comes late to the campaign, I think this is what a lot of people are worried about. And it's funny because this campaign, I mean, it's literally going live today and people are already asking if it's too late to win. <laughs> um, <laughs> so basically, I think one of the big concerns is, you know, let's say that someone comes in uh, seven days from now, so a week from now, and then let's say they come in, you know, two weeks from now and three weeks from now, can they, do they still have a shot at winning? the big prizes and if they don't have a shot at winning the big prizes are they still going to win anything at all so i'm just gonna uh respond as if it was me let's just say well not let's just say it, the whole campaign started today but let's say that i joined the campaign on the 15th i will have missed on around from the daily quest is 100 per day and then from the weekly quests, let's just say I I I arrive two two weeks late, I will miss on um I will have missed around two thousand five hundred experience points, right? So anyone who grinded everything during those two weeks will be 2,500 2, points ahead of me. But if I finish all of the main quests and the and the adventure quests, I will get from the Hustler, I will get 20,000. From the Findings Pro, I will get, I, I think it was like 9,000. Uh, the Influencer has like 10,000. The Visionary has like 7,000. Uh, I think we're at 35, around 38. The artist has 9,000, so that's 50-something. The vlogger has 9,000, so that's 60. And the promoter has 15,000. So I could get 75,000 experience points from the adventures, even if I got late to the party. I, I, I would have just missed 2,500 experience points. So that's pretty much nothing, especially because I, and I do want to be very um, redundant on this. I don't think anyone will finish all of the adventures. So even if you arrive on day 29, if you focus on the adventures and you finish most of them or all of them, I'm 99% confident that you will end up in the top three. Oh, yeah. So, so the the side quests. So you can basically there's no time on those, right? You can basically you could come in on the last day of the campaign theoretically, and you could complete all of those, right? All of the adventures, yeah. There's no time. The only things. So, what are the the ones that do have like time limits? Where like if you come in, you know, uh, say you come in two weeks late to the campaign, so fourteen days have passed you're yeah. missing which of the quests that you can't so complete anymore. It's the daily side quests and the weekly side quests. So uh, for people who uh, log in to Sealy every day, there are two quests, to say GM friends and to post something on threads related to the calendar. So on Mondays is me Monday, 
on Tuesdays, I think it's Nature Tuesday, uh, Foodie Friday, Saturday, uh, Sat Art Day. So yeah, if someone joins late, they will have missed on those quests, on the daily quests, which give 50 experience points each. Um, and the weekly quests, which are joining the AMAs, the different shows in the community uh, to make a, for a long form post per week. Uh, but in reality, all of the weekly side quests uh, added up are uh, 1,000 experience points. And let's just say, for example, if you arrive late to the party and then you start grinding uh, threads and then you send, um, if you send 250 threads in, no, less, 100 threads in total, you would have you will you will already receive 1250 experience points so even if you miss out on the first two weeks and the 1500 experience points you you would have gotten uh from those quests just by sending 100 threads you get back to the to the race you like you are you still have a shot so a good way of looking at it is if you log in every day and every week and you're completing the daily and weekly side quests, you know, you're, you're basically grinding like consistent progress on the whole campaign, but then like the, the big ticket items come from doing the, um, adventures. Exactly. And then, uh, let's just say that let's just put in the, um, imaginary situation where there's five people who finish all the adventures um they let's just say they will get a hundred thousand xp those who grind the daily quests and the keep stacking xp quests will come on top but just by three thousand or five thousand xp difference So yeah, I mean, just just to be completely clear, in case it wasn't, if someone arrives on day twenty nine or day twenty eight and they grind all of the adventures, they will still have a shot at winning the whole campaign. So the big the big takeaway from all of this is, no matter when you join the campaign, if you're committed to you know grinding on on Zeli and doing all these, especially doing the adventures because those are like your big you know. That's like how you level up. And then the the extra stuff is kind of like, you know, the daily and the weekly is just kind of like consistent, extra smaller items. Um, it doesn't matter when you join the campaign, you are still, you you have as good of a shot as anybody else to win. Exactly. And especially like if if people are, are really worried about that, we have three different uh, rewards for people who grind at least 10,000 XP, for people who end up in the top 100 of the leaderboard, and for people who complete at least, I think it's 60 quests. So even if they join late and they don't have the time to grind a lot, if they grind up to certain level, they will get something. So for example, there's an OG Discord role that people who get uh, at least 10,000 experience points in this campaign will get that role on Discord. And that role in the future will, will provide the users with uh, certain perks. For example, um, early, early access to new features or things like that. So yeah, even if people join late and they don't grind a lot, but they just grind enough, they can still get something. Cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, I would definitely say that that is the biggest concern from people is just they feel like they're missing out, you know, like they, they're they wondering all the ways they can lose. They're not thinking about all the ways they can win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, um, what else do we have? 
a lot of people are asking what the relevance of inviting people is going to be. And I know we talked about that a little bit pre-show, but um, people are basically asking, you know, I know invite is vital, but what's the fate of those who are unable to invite others? Um, so do you want to touch on, you know, how big of a impact, you know, inviting people has, because obviously it's like really important to invite people. So we want to incentivize that, but it's also, you know, you know, you don't want to solely incentivize people who can invite other people. Cause you know, there are definitely some people out there that might struggle with, you know, finding, you know, one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 people to, uh, invite. Yeah. So, uh, getting more people on this, on this Zilli community, not just the campaign, but the community. We have around 500 members right now. This is not going to be the only Zilli campaign that we are gonna do. This is just the first one. And from this one, we will learn a lot on how to encourage uh, engagement and people um, grinding hard, but we will have a lot of a lot more silly campaigns in the future. So the more people that we have at that we add today, will help Leo Finance grow in the long term. So that's we are trying to. That's that's why we are trying to get a, a lot of people to join. But we are not putting as much of um as much of importance uh, in bringing people to the silly campaign. In terms of if you are someone some hype and you engage it will be very easy for you to just get one person to join and if you have a family or friends it won't be hard to get another person to join and then if you grind on twitter with your invite link it won't be hard to reach three in total so you don't even have to be like this popular person or crypto influencer where you have to bring 25 people to the zilly campaign we just need you to bring one person first and then we will probably add a couple more we are still the uh the, the um, deciding on that uh but yeah it will it it will have some some weight to have uh brought at least one more person but it won't make a difference if you bring 10 15 or 25 in this campaign this campaign is for the adoption campaign of leo finance to celebrate the um, the new UI, it's not to get popular or to get a hundred thousand users. Uh, we just want to reach five thousand users before uh, twenty twenty three. So, if we manage to finish all of this campaign with one thousand members on the Zilli community, I think we can call that a win. But for those who are asking, inviting people. Uh, to the campaign will have a weight, but you will only have to bring top three people, and it will have its own uh, its own adventure for that, and there will be a final boss for that. But as I said, there are eight adventures, so even if you don't finish the one that has to do with invites, you will still have a very big chance of winning the whole campaign and to getting the two, three thousand uh, dollars for the first prize. I mean, I, I don't don't quote me on that. I don't even know if it's gonna be one thousand, two thousand, or three thousand or whatever. Yeah, so um good kind of follow-up on on what you were just talking about. So Zeely, like you know, we've had some campaigns and uh, you know, in the past and and a lot of it was just kind of leading up to this one. This is like the big campaign that we were always planning on uh, for the new UI, which which go, goes live tomorrow. Um, what are the plans for Zeely in the long run um, in terms of how we plan to use it and how many campaigns can people expect? Like, let, Let's just like zoom out and say like every year, you know, we, we plan to use Zeely, you know, for the long term. So uh, you know, you were talking about how important it is to invite people, you know, especially if you want to see Leo grow. Um, but, you know, if you zoom out and you say how many campaigns can people expect every year um, and, you know, what what frequency can they expect the campaigns and kind of what is the long term goal 
and vision behind, you know, using Zeely in the way that we're using it, um, you know, to, to grow the platform. Yeah, I think we we already spoke about this uh, a few weeks ago, but I'll, so I'll, well, a lot of projects use Zilli uh, like as an intermittent kind of uh, way to encourage their users to go back to the platform or to grind something specific because they want to. Let's just say, for example, uh, when when we launched uh, Cobb. Zilly would have been a great idea to whitelist people to uh, to let them buy. So I've been thinking a lot about how we can leverage Zilly for the future, or oh, well, well, for for future features or updates or whatever. It's just that, for example, if we have a big launch uh, of uh, let's say the Substack Substack style of content creation. We could have a one month campaign where people can grind on Silly to get whitelisted to test the alpha version of this paid paid so paid so paid whoa what's up paid subscription model. So um apart from all of these mini launches that we have a lot of them planned for the next two years, um, I was thinking that we could also use that as a as a complement to the leaderboard that that you have planned uh, for the next few months on Leo Finance. Apart from that, a lot of projects use Zilli to uh, just keep engagement on their platform, but those are DeFi platforms. We already have our own Zilli, so to speak, engraved on Leo Finance because we don't need people to submit something if we can see it on chain as a post. But we can leverage Zilli for uh, launches or for events or for for important specific things that will happen on the Leoverse. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what your thoughts are on that, but I think we can leverage Zilli like every three months for for different stuff that we have planned. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I've been you know i i've been kind of backseat on on the zealy stuff and you you're you know you're pretty much 100 percent running the show here um but i i i really like the way that zealy is set up and i like what you've done with all of these quests um and i think it kind of adds like that gamification layer to you know growing the community so you know long term we do want to add like gamification directly on the ui but this is kind of like a whole separate thing where it's like gamifying, you know, getting the whole because we have, you know, the, the benefit of Hive and of Leo Finance, since it's, you know, kind of like a microcosm of, of Hive, um, is that we have like this base community that that are like super active, super engaged. Um, and, you know, the thing that we've lacked both on Hive and Leo is leveraging that that like hyper engagement and and kind of like focusing it like a laser on what needs to be done uh to continue growing you know and, and getting new users and and bringing more people into that fold um and i think zeely is is a tool to focus that energy that exists on hive um in terms of in terms of going out and getting people so you know the the more that i look into zeely and understand it and uh you know i i'm planning on you know grinding away on a lot of these quests not not you know being excluded from winning but just grinding away on them to understand how it looks from a user perspective um i think yeah i i definitely think that we could be doing stuff like maybe even once a quarter like you're saying every couple months um doing some sort of sprint to you know to grow the adoption of you know x y and z just because you know and, and when you look at the development schedule of leo and you consider, you know, things like Cub, Polycub, Leo itself, and, you know, features that we launch, like the Substack thing that you're talking about, you know, there's always, we're kind of always on the horizon of something. Um, so I think the way that our development, our long-term development schedule works, I think it, it complement, Zeely complements it really well in that we can get people using the stuff that we want them to use. Uh, and like I said, focus that energy that exists on Hive like a laser and, and start to really bring people in. Because, you know, this year, 
like you said, we're aiming to get 5,000 monthly active users by the end of uh, December, 2023. So, um, you know, we've got basically seven months left to do that. And, you know, that's just the goal for this year. Like, like next year, you know, I'm sure we'll be looking at a much bigger target the year after that an even bigger target. So, you know, as we keep, as we keep looking to grow our monthly active users to 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, 100,000 monthly active users, I think Zealy is going to be a, a, an important tool for that. So, yeah, I, I definitely foresee a lot of, a lot of campaigns and stuff that we can do with Zealy. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is just, uh, you know, this is the first, like the first real campaign, right. And it's, and it's a really big one and it's really important because we got the new UI, like th this is basically the campaign to build the new UI, right. Like to build the excitement and engagement and usage of the, of the new UI. So, um, yeah, I think, I think Zealy, I, I think the best way I can explain Zealy is that it's a tool to focus that energy, uh, that we've got as a community. Yeah, and uh, I just realized that I was 30 minutes late. I just published the first two quests uh, that will actually earn you points for um, in the leaderboard. And this is one thing that I didn't mention. So we have a main leaderboard here. What happened to this print? Uh, let's just check April 30. Yeah, okay. What are the quests required? Okay, Jim Friends with the side quests. Okay. Just one second. I just realized no I published the whole um the first two quests and there's no leaderboard for the sprint. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll answer one question from Nifty. He asked, how will the cash prize payouts be made? So there's a, there's a lot of different uh, prizes that are available uh, in this sprint. So, um, you know, the big one is the $10,000 uh, and that is in Leo. So $10,000 in Leo uh, will be uh, sent out to the winners. Um, and then there's 200,000 high power uh, delegations up for grabs. I know they call me Dan committed a uh, hundred thousand of that. Um, and those will be, those are two communities, right, Eric? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the communities, top communities can win that. Um, yeah. And then, um, and then there's other prizes like the uh, final boss NFTs, uh, which are going to be, you know, th they're going to end up being like a super limited run of NFTs, kind of like the Slay the Dragon NFT from the lat from uh, the when was that like November Elpud or something, um, very limited edition and like you know there's not going to be like a rerun of those. So like if you complete the side quests uh, and get one of those final boss NFTs, there's that's kind of like the one time that you can get that NFT. Um, and then if you display it in your wallet, you know people on Leo will know that you're an OG from from the Zeely days. You know, say five years from now. Um, and, and like we were talking about, you know, perks and all sorts of other stuff will come with those NFTs. So are there any other, I, I know that we're, we're planning to do, so there's those three. So you've got cash prizes as Leo, you've got, um, the 200,000 high power delegation, you've got the NFTs. Um, and then you also mentioned, we've got the Leo dot voter upvotes, um, for for a lot of the Zeely related uh, content posting stuff, um, are there any other outside of those four categories prizes? I think that's it. Yeah, well, there cool. there's there's a couple more, but I I'm still deciding on exactly how and what to do because it's gonna be for the top X people. I, I'm thinking top 100 who finish uh, in the leaderboard. We can give them something, but also uh, I don't even know if we have Leo delegation available as a consolation prizes or something like that. Yeah, I think that would be cool. I mean, I think the I think the main point on prizes is that you know the stuff we've talked about; those are like what we've got now, and and you know we're not taking away any prizes. Like we're only going to be adding extra prizes on top, right? So like yeah. you know. Like I said, I mean, this is like our big, big campaign where we're really making a push. So, um, 
you know, I think Leo power delegations would be a great one. So you could probably expect, you know, at least a hundred thousand Leo power and delegation prizes, probably even a lot more than that, um, that we'll add to the prize pool. So I, I think, yeah, like what we've got now is like a really great set of prizes and we just keep adding to it. Like the 200,000 high power wasn't even originally in the plans. Right. And then that kind of came, came about more recently. Um, so we're just kind of adding more and more to that prize pool. So expect it to be what it is now, plus a lot more. So kind of yeah. like a, kind of like one of those midnight infomercial commercials where we say, wait, there's more. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, I also think that it's already good enough, you know? It's yeah, just definitely. Like, I mean, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. And I wanted to mention something else uh, for people who are watching the video. Uh, so when you click on the leaderboard, you will see the old time leaderboard where people already have like 500 experience points. Uh, but if you click on the current sprint, you will see that the leaderboard, there's nobody there yet because nobody has finished any quest related to the current campaign. But when people start finishing those, the leaderboard will update here and you will see your actual spot for this campaign. So don't pay attention to the old time uh, leaderboard, just focus on the current sprint leaderboard. So someone asked, um, there's a 3000 threads quest, but uh, it's IDK Samad. He said there's, he doesn't see any engagement related quests. Um, he said, does our engagements count in those 3000 threads or not? Would be great if there's also separate XP for engagers. Yes, there will be. Actually, uh, you, you you don't see it, I, IDK Samad. You don't see it because it's not published yet. After this call, I will um, I I will start publishing them. They won't go out at the same time, but um, today is just gonna be quest publishing day for me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot a lot of work today. Yeah, and and you've already spent. I mean, you've already got months that went into this campaign. So, um, so yeah, I think. Uh, we all gotta we all gotta do a round of applause for Eric on <laughs> how much time and effort and creativity went into this. Cause I've just yeah. been blown every every time I've refreshed Zeely and talked to you. Oh, I think you're muted again on Discord. Uh every time I've refreshed Zeely and and looked at what you've been doing and you've told me about it, I'm just I'm just like, you know, surprised at how much more you had. So it's it's really crazy. Oh. No, Nifty, I think you have me muted. Because yeah, I it doesn't show you as muted for me. Yeah. Um, so I think to we we could wrap this up with, um, I think we've caught up with all the questions from what I can tell. Um, so, you know, I I think we're gonna have a lot of content. You know, I'm sure you've got a bunch of posts planned from Leo Growth, and then, uh, you know definitely some like more official content. I'll, I'll put out some stuff from my account and from at Leo finance. Um, and then, um, but, but just to kind of like leave everybody with something that they can take, take away from this, uh, as, as the campaign goes live, like literally while we're on air right now, um, what would you say, you know, as the person who, who made the secret sauce, what would you say is the top three tips you have for, for someone who wants to win the campaign? Um, you know, what, what are the top three things you would recommend for them to do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to, uh, to, you know, strive to win? Yeah. So if things go according to plan in a few hours, all of the adventures will be published fully. So there will no be, there, there, there will be no add-ons. There will be no, uh, surprise new quests in terms of the adventures ones. So um, in a few hours, you will see all of the adventures and you can click on each of them and you will see uh, what they are about, like what the adventures all about are, are about. So just pick the ones that are your strengths and also pick the ones that you think less people will uh, will grind so that you can focus in those two, the ones that you're good at, 
and the ones that will give you an edge against uh, against the other people. And the threats one, the hustler, that one gives uh, in total like 20,000 experience points. So the more you thread, the more you will um, you will get closer to the first spot. And just just grind daily. If you want to send, like if you need to send to send three thousand th threads in total to beat the final boss of the hustler adventure, uh, like just send a hundred threads every day. Don't leave. Uh, don't. Don't wait to send 700 threads one day on Saturday, for example. Just just constant, uh, continuous grinding is the key for this. And that's how I planned it. I, I actually planned it so, so people can, can actually do one of the adventure quests every three, four days and just grind threads and the daily quests uh, on a daily basis. And that's, that's going to take you to the top. Honestly, it just means that you have to connect daily. So top three tips, log into Zeely daily, complete the adventures that you, um, that you're good at. And, and also the ones that you think people might not be as active in. And then what's the third one? Uh, yeah, just, just plan ahead. Because, for example, if there's three thousand threads uh, during the whole month, uh, just just establish how many threads you have to send every day. Or, for example, for the visionary um, adventure. So, if in total you have to power up eight thousand Leo, you have to grind at least eighty Leo per day. Uh, no, what? Wait, uh, like two hundred Leo per day to reach uh the full amount so just make sure to buy here now and then or or to or to keep creating posts and and one of the best ways of of looking at this is that if you decide to do all of the adventures they work together so for example one of the adventures is about threading but the other one is about po posting long form content but you might get rewards from those two so then you can actually finish the visionary uh, quest. But if you decide also to finish the the artist adventure, then you will also get post rewards, and that can help you to the uh, to finish the the visionary adventure. But as well, if you use threads to promote your content or to engage with other people so that they go to your blog and vote you, that like oh, most of the adventures work together. So. Yeah, just leverage all of them. Sweet. Sweet, yeah, I think we uh, did a good job of covering it. I know I went from, you know, level one knowledge of Zeely and what we're doing to like level 20 uh, <laughs> during this call, so. Um, Where's the experience points? <laughs> um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think everybody, hopefully if you guys were here for this whole uh, live stream, you understand everything that's going on a lot better. Um, and then we're going to, we're going to post this recording too. Um, and then, like I said, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of posts from Leo growth and Leo finance. And uh, I'm planning on doing some posts about it too, just to kind of keep everybody in the loop. Um, so any, uh, any, any closing words, Eric? Um, nope. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, and this is this has to do with me. So when I started on hype, I realized that putting in the time and the effort will get me would would get me pretty far. I won a Steam Fest ticket. I I got a block trades delegation. I was a top witness for two years, but all of that took time, effort, and and to actually grind on hype. So if you actually want to get somewhere on Leo and on hype. This is just the perfect excuse for you to start grinding and to take Leo Finance as as something serious, not not just not just like something you you spend time on every now and then. If you take it seriously, you will you will get to a point where where it will become part of your life, and you will get rewards for that. So, I mean, 
people spend six hours on Twitter every day. If you did if you did that the same on Leo Finance, you would get what ten dollars per day just for doing that. Yeah. So it's all about grinding, effort, time, drive. I don't know. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's about being an active member of the community, right? Exactly. Sweet. Well, we will uh, see you guys all on the Zeely campaign, and uh, and we'll also see you on the new UI tomorrow, May first. It's officially Project Blank is officially going live. Oh um, yeah, are we gonna do the launch party? Yeah, I think so. Um, I will DM you about that. But I, I think uh, you know, if we can get a couple people together. We can do, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be anything like too long and crazy, but, you know, when the UI goes live, it would be cool to do like a little launch party, talk about some of the bunch of new features are going to go live um, actually probably today so that we can test them for a few hours before we push them to production. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I think we should do a little launch party. Yeah, because Nifty and Taskmaster are already in. I haven't gotten a reply from Kat, but yeah. Okay, sweet probably do that so you'll probably see us tomorrow then live <laughs> on air <laughs> awesome all right thanks eric for uh walking us through everything uh thanks everybody for joining um and we will see you tomorrow awesome see thanks ya. guys